All right, welcome back, everybody. Thanksgiving is tomorrow. Hopefully, everybody's getting ready on Thanksgiving Eve. Um, looks like it's gonna a typical Wednesday that we're gonna have right now. Quiet, couple of moves, but I'm really ticked off today. I mean, I was out shopping yesterday, uh, doing some. Um, uh, I was at my favorite store, Costco, again. By the way, I don't know about you guys, but I was max out my twenty five thousand in that place. I don't know why, but I don't know. That's my grocery store. Looking at, I'm looking at my watch list, and all of a sudden, Nicola tanked on me. And I'm like, what the hell's going on after hours? So I'm like really upset right now because I was killing it on Nicola on the trade. I think a lot of us own it. We own it right around $22. I mean, I'm not doing horrible, but I doubled my money uh, in about two, about a week and a half. But I guess news came out that the CEO didn't want to uh, comment on the GM deal. So it totally took like a huge turn. So I was really ticked off about that. But you know what? Still made money. I still we still go great on on, on a, a bunch of stocks. So um, maybe it's an opportunity to average down. Maybe not average down. Maybe uh, buy more. I'll see how it goes out. But we'll see what the story is. But that it's incredible that, that little news makes such a big deal, right? But anyway, um, yeah, Ju Ju uh, Juan, you're freaking out too. I mean, I don't know. I mean, like that's 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 trading, you know. But listen, we had a great two weeks on our swing trades i mean between you know uh nicola uh be between pinterest between DraftKing, i mean um and some of these other swing trades that we had that did phenomenal uh neo uh i mean the list goes on and on and on what else did we had a great uh J jmia that's right blnk f cell solo i mean i mean you just pick your sword, pick your weapon and <laughs> we just did it great but, um, you know, this is trading and you got to know how to deal with it and you got to know when to sell and you got to know when to buy it back, you know? So, um, I'll tell you what, what also happened. Um, there was a student actually, believe it or not, there was a student I spoke to actually was not a student. Um, she wanted to, but she really didn't qualify, uh, it, 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 to be in it, uh, it'd be part of C2. By the way, I let everybody know, not everyone, you know, it's not a it's not a right it's a privilege to be in the room because we don't want someone to come in our trading room and you know and it's really not for everybody and you know what and that's okay um but there was this one person that did a trade in nicola actually i was going to tell you a story really quick about her and she's like oh yeah i own nicola at like um at 45. i'm like 45. it's at it's at was that it was at 44 yesterday oh no i had it since um since july and like you rolled the thing all the way down to 20 and you didn't sell it. He goes, nah, you know what? I like the cup. I'm like, you're not a good fit. You're not a really good fit. You know, I mean, you're lucky you made it back, but all of a sudden, boom, she just lost it all in one night, you know, even what happened. And that was actually the first thing that came to my mind. I wasn't even worried about my money. I was always concerned about other people that trade, but I'm like, you know, but I just it stuck out because I do have a, I, I do have a decent position in, in, in this stock. And then all of a sudden she just like, you know, um, that, that, that's a bad trader. And you know what? Uh, hopefully she sold it yesterday, like I said. But we don't want to be there, and that's what, what it's all about. But uh, but listen, we got a lot of good stocks that are moving. We got this one stock right here. You guys cleaned up. It was the, on the morning watch list. And for some of you that did not see that list, um, I know we have. That was our morning watch list. I'm just putting on YouTube so people could see that. And you can see that that stock right there, that... Uh, this, the, the watch list that we had right there in the morning when we posted in the cyber group room, uh, the ANPC, you guys cleaned up on that stock. So at night, at, you could see exactly at that time when we found it right around here, that stock right there, right around seven o'clock, $7, thing ran to 950. Guess what? You guys should be done. Even if you didn't sell it, okay? And you still have it right now and it dropped all the way to eight, you're still up a buck, a buck on a thousand shares, a thousand dollars. You should be done for the day. Okay, shouldn't even continue in what was going on. But that was the morning watch list right there. And there were a couple other ones we're going to check out, you know, uh, and some of them are still back on the A list. And they, some of them fell on the B list. And we also had some that um, that obviously joined that list. But just thought regarding about yesterday before we get started, um, I want to just talk about some of the stocks that we traded yesterday because yesterday was so much better than, um, than, than Monday and Tuesday. I thought Tuesday was good. I mean, I thought Monday was good. Tuesday was so much better. Not because there was more stocks. This, the trends were just so much easier to trade. 
They weren't like level category threes and category fours. A lot of them were ones and twos, you know? Um, so they were a lot more easier, a lot more uh, more consistent trades, a lot more iceberg orders you saw got executed. So just kind of bring them up. Um, the the uh, This F-Tech was just like, this thing has just been an animal, my God. This F-Tech was just, I mean, just, you could see it right here. I mean, that thing just went from $2 um all the way up you know and this is like after hours and it just went all the way up to you can see from a dollar all the way to seven f tech has just been phenomenal but once again remember whatever goes up comes down crashing down too that was a great short squeeze right there what else that we had that did pretty well on that stock um We had the JY, which, by the way, is, is going back on the watch list again this morning. But I put it on the B list, not on the A list. That stock, look at that, 250. Went all the way up to about 550. Thing was just a great stock. Look at that on the swing trade right there. Went from two all the way up to 550. Great mover, cheap little stock. Listen, she's up again. She's up, up another 42%. She's almost at six dollars. Look at the tier sizes. Look at the look at the spread. Look at the level, uh, the level three on the right. It's all about, could you get it or you get out? Remember, and and today, I don't know if I got to, uh, I, I didn't mention yet, but Josh has phase two, lesson three and four, and he's going to be covering, he's going to talk about level three, following the short trades. Um, he's going to do a full class just on shorting what he did on in lesson one. But he's going to continue it. He's going to talk about, uh, Josh, just look what he wrote. He's going to talk about set stops and talking uh, and taking profits. A lot of students really like that class a lot, so we're going to talk a lot about that. So if you are a gold and platinum student, remember you are. That's that, that is uh you know it's 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 been a highly popular class out of all the classes that we do, and he's going to do another one. So don't miss it. Uh, that's going to happen today. And like I said, if you want to get into it, just talk to education advisor tell you about it. Now, regarding about uh, some of the other stocks that we traded that move pretty well. Um, we're going to go through a watch list right here. We'll see what happens. Uh, I just want to talk about. You got one stock that did also did well yesterday. We got to mention U.S. Steel. That thing, I mean, where's U.S. Steel coming from? I mean, that thing has just been so much fun. Every time I think of U.S. Steel, you know I think about you, right? It's you, Ken. Ken Thor. Every time I think of every time I think of X, actually, what Ken Thor when he came to onsite, he brought Josh a this uh, lighting fixture that, that was an X, and uh, it's always on his desk. So just so you know that that's the kind of relationship we have with our students. But just kind of let you know, Ken, that we, we every time I think of that stock, I think of you. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, but you know what? To, to kind of give everyone a little education about what happened, the reason why we're talking about X, even though we did great yesterday, and about Ken Ken uh, Ken Thol that that traded, I think this was probably Ken's best loss that he ever had. That taught him how to become a, a great trader in the trading room, um, and that's how you learn. You know, sometimes people can't recover from a loss. You know, he he learned a lot from this stock, and sometimes it takes that you have to learn from it to make you a great trader. You know, and that's how he became so. You know, good for you, Ken. Let me give him a round of applause, but because uh, you deserve it. All right. All right. So what else we got going on? Let's go hop on the A-list and talk about what we got going on right here. So we got the uh, ANPC trade. That, that stock, we can keep an eye on it. Um, right now, she looks like she kind of died down. She's kind of holding. Now, remember, we always find these stocks kind of like eh, teeter totter, and all of a sudden, boom, they pop. So, you know, she's right now, she's in middle no man's land, and she kind of made this big move. I was looking at level four and see what was happening there. There's a there's there's an iceberg order that just showed up at about 435. Oh, no, I'm sorry, wrong stock. I'm looking at F tech. There's an iceberg orders that have been sitting there, and I'll bring this over here so you can see, because guys can see it. Um, you can see he's been out there since you can see they're right around 8:30, and uh, 
he, he keeps popping out. That's why the stock's having a tough time breaking it. And there was a big buy right there around eight bucks. He's not there anymore. So I want, I, I'm going to be a little cautious on that trade. I want to see how it works out. You can see here on the right-hand side on the level three version, the more watered down version of level four, you have a little bit of a, you know, you have a little bit of move right here. I don't really see too many iceberg orders other than there's that guy right there at, at 830. All right. So what else we got? We got MTC. Not bad over here. MTC has obviously made it on the on the A list. Stock is finally making a nice little push now. Uh, now you, a lot of you cyber traders should remember this stock. We made a lot of money back on this stock back in June. Go back to your journals and check it out. This stock was a fun stock. It, it, it was a huge short squeeze. It was not only a good day trade, it became a very good swing trade. Um, good spread. It's an algo stock. Okay, that's the only thing. That means algorithms are kicking in. We got to see. There's this big seller right now that's been holding it down right now right below around 230. So we got to see if it takes them out. I can see them out there right now for about, what was it? 45, 45,000 shares. You can see them right there at, at, at 225. He just lowered his bid. So we got to see how that guy takes takes that out. But be very careful. You got to get in and out of the stock. It's an algo stock. All right. Neo. Stock had a great run. It has a great run. It, it went from 53 down to 48. I wish, I wish my stock only went down only five points, not 10 points. But um neo listen a lot of the car stocks are starting to back off a little bit they've been having big runs i mean tesla has been literally just an animal lately um but you know you're getting a little bit of get a little bit of correction here not too crazy but there's some profit taking going on listen it's thanksgiving eve okay granted a lot of people ain't traveling like last year because of covid um i think you know so you're going to get some trading going on um, but usually a day like today is disgusting. There's, this is one of the worst days to trade in the market because nobody, nobody, there's no news coming out. Okay. Nobody's doing anything. Nobody's planning on getting, you know, whoever can do whatever they can on Thanksgiving, depending what state you're coming from. I mean, I don't know where, where you guys are coming from. You know, there's so many people all over the world, but it's just uh, these governors. I mean, some people are going to want to live their lives. Some people are going to pay, I'm going to, are, are, are going to follow the rules, but with, with what's going on as a trader what's happening it could be a little it could be i could see it be a little bit better than last year's and previous year because i don't think anyone's really going anywhere all right nobody's rushing to get on their their plane uh and go looking to go somewhere so we got that one we got neo and we obviously got x i'm throwing back on there too but that's going on the b list uh z k i n let's hop this one over here all right this one obviously started making a little bit of a nice little push again um I, I, I'm still waiting to see what happens with that iceberg order at 320 if he gets done. YJ also, this one also has been a, a great run up. It's up about 37%. Nice spread, great tier sizes. I like the iceberg orders better than this one than the other ones. There's not too many algorithms going on as much, but um, but she's kind of flatlined since this morning. I mean, she really didn't move that much. But remember, I say this all the time. Sometimes we see these things and all of a sudden they just, they just take off at the open. We had that yesterday. Okay. MKD, another one that's kind of flatline, but she's up a little bit, 28%, 3.8 million shares, a lot of shares. Listen, trade less and trade often okay trade small and trade frequently you some of us are in different leagues uh, with different traders here you don't have to go you know when you, you you know envision you go into the gym and you see these great bodybuilders right like damn why can't i be like that guy you know what i mean you just started you know what it's okay to work with five pounds i'd rather work with five pounds than work with zero pounds Okay, I'd rather do five minutes on a treadmill than do zero mi minutes on a treadmill. You know, you got to start somewhere. And I'm just using, you know, uh, I'm just using uh, exercise as an example. Like some people, you know, you, you know, you want to do this, but you, you like, but you see these other things like, oh, that guy, you know, I want to be like that guy. Let me go bunch. Let me go bench press 500 pounds. Okay, great. You're out of business. You blow your shoulder. And, and just like in trading, you blow up your account. You don't got to trade all these fast moving stocks. You will get there, okay, with patience. Eventually, the game starts slowing down. But listen, there's some stocks out there that even I trade. I just trade several thousand shares of it. But you'll see me, like, in the trading room. Like, we'll talk about 
fast moving stocks that go up 20, 50, you know, a dollar, two dollars. And I see a stock that might go up like 10 cents. But you know, 10 cents on a 10,000 shares, then a uh, hundred shares of a stock that goes up a dollar. Sometimes it's easier. So we, we, you know, we all have our um, stick with the rules that you were taught in class on what category you are until you get to the next list. Because remember, when you're a student, we review your journals. We'll tell you if you're ready to go to the next level. But better if somebody being that's involved in your life than you trying to figure it out on your own. COCP, another one to throw up on that watch. Just another one. Slow stock, not moving too much. But you know what? I seen these things pop. So I'm throwing it back on the watch list. Uh, JFU, another one that came up on my watch list. You know, 1.7 million shares. This was a $9 stock at one point. Stock is testing some major resistance levels right here. I want to see if it breaks out. It's another cheapie. It's okay. By the way, cheap doesn't mean that penny stocks. And I keep repeating. People are like, oh, this is too cheap. Don't be, don't be, don't discriminate against cheap stocks. Okay. These are probably could make you more money than than, oh, I gotta trade the Tesla. But I can't trade Tesla because I gotta do the option trade. I hate when people say that. This one, WEI. You remember this stock. Stock went from a dollar to five dollars in one day. Is it doing anything right now? I don't know. Let's see what happens when it opens up. But I remember when we traded it back in October. It was, it was just off the charts. We made a killing on it, okay? I'm going to see what's going to happen with this Nikola. If it starts backing off, I might just, I, I might short it. I mean, I don't know, but I never knew that somebody who doesn't talk about the deal can crush a stock that much. Anyway, anything I'm missing, I did not call out. Um, Mark says, what about the PRTH? Um, Mark, it trades 700 shares. I should, I, I I shouldn't even be looking at this stock more. Not a good trade, okay? Not a good trade. Z-K-I-N. Okay, uh, Phil just made about 14 cents on that. All right, way to go. Give yourself a round of applause on that one. Good job. I-D-E-X. That was one of the stocks that we also traded yesterday. I forgot to mention. That one did pretty good. It's got a nice little push right now. I don't know. Now it's like, you know, looking at it and how it's trading. I feel like people that trade, you know, it's like going back to the old girlfriend. You know what I mean? If you ever hear that phrase before, um, or the old boyfriend. We made our money. We did well. Let's go to the next one that's moving. You know what I mean? There's so many new ones out there. Let 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 let, let the beginners, let the people, the amateurs go back and like, oh, I heard IDX was up moving two days in a row. Let's go check it out. Okay, you do it. We already passed on. Let's go find the next one that's the best for us. And that's where you got to look at it. All right. So, uh, all right, so you got you guys watch list, watch list guys. We've got about 10 minutes for the open. Um, sorry to bore you with my uh, algorithm, uh, my uh, my uh, my metaphors and, you know, stories, but hopefully it's all about trying to educate you because we've all been there. Now, listen, enjoy your Thanksgiving. Enjoy class today with Josh. And, you know, if you made your money early, go enjoy. Go Start doing your cooking. Start doing whatever you do. Don't be here all day. And if you're new here to Cybertrade University, and you're one of the trial members here and you're seeing what's going on, listen, I hope you're enjoying it because this is how we do it. And if you're watching us on YouTube, listen, you want to come into the room, just pay stupid $9. Click on the bottom, pay the $9 and see what it's all about. And you'll know the truth between the good, the bad, and the ugly What people tell you about that it's all false. It just comes down to who you surround yourself with and who trains you. All right. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you back here and we'll start commentating. It's commentary in cyber training room at, 9, at 930 once the market opens up. Good luck, everyone. Be safe and happy Thanksgiving.